There's quite a bit more to say about the modern controller other than it's an Xbox wireless controller except black and an Atari logo, but that somewhat dismissive statement is also a plus, in that there is little to go wrong here and Atari didn't. The shortest version of the review is, the modern controller feels good, functions well, sounds a bit clacky and noisy, but just works on the VCS, Android, and PC. It's the same price as the Xbox wireless, so whether you buy it depends on what controllers you already have, and whether you like Microsoft's controller better. I'm a longtime PlayStation fan, so at Sony's consoles and controllers I've been using since the 1990s. I never got into the Xbox, nor its controller, so even when the Xbox controller essentially became the PC default a while back, I never picked one up. The Modern is actually the first controller of this type I've owned. That also means I can't really judge how the Modern compares to the Xbox, although I've held a few over the years and found them solid with softish buttons and a medium firm feel. I have found the Modern controller to be a bit loud, which I tried to record earlier. Okay, so it's important to note that because I'm going to be holding this right next to the microphone, the sound is going to be somewhat exaggerated. Uh, but I thought I'd give an example of uh, how kind of clacky some of the buttons are, so... And uh, let me compare that real quick to the uh, Classic, which is pretty quiet. And uh, let me compare it quick to a DualShock 4, which I happen to have uh, sitting nearby. I've also talked about how much I love the new VCS Classic controller, but the Classic has a different goal other than being a standard works-for-everything joystick, and as such it has run into some compatibility issues on PC. The modern controller is aimed at the default, and I'm happy to report that from the moment it came out of the box it just turned on, connected properly, and did everything it was supposed to on the VCS, PC, and Android. Whether to buy the modern controller depends on the answers to a couple of questions. What controllers do you already have, and should you get an Xbox wireless instead? The VCS can be operated with a wide variety of controllers, so if you have a DualShock 3 or 4 or Xbox or Hyperkin or something like that around, it probably works. That means maybe you don't need this, and maybe you don't want it, unless having a nice looking black controller with an Atari logo makes it worth it to you. If you don't have a controller you like well with the VCS though, your choice is probably either this or a standard Microsoft controller. They're both $60, both have the same button letters in the same place, and a side-by-side -side comparison shows the modern is clearly based on the Xbox design. Probably a personal judgment call, really. There are some games in the VCS that require either a modern style controller or a keyboard and mouse, so if you only have the classic, getting a modern controller or something that'll take its place is a must. Power A has done a great job working with Atari on the new VCS controllers, and I expect to use the modern on both the VCS and PC for years to come. Thanks for watching. I'll be doing more videos in the coming weeks on the new VCS games, PC mode, and more. Subscribing gets these videos in your feed, and liking the video helps spread the word about the channel and lets me know whether you're into it or not. Have fun!